everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Saturday the 27th of November. We begin, as always, with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Loving God, 
Once more, we come together in order to worship you, not out of tradition or out of duty, but because we want to remember, we want to learn, and we want to understand. For all our faith, all our desire to serve you, we are conscious of how weak our discipleship has been, and we hunger to know you better, to grasp more fully the love that you have shown in Christ, and to live more in tune with the example that he has shown. Meet with us, we pray. May your word of old come to life. The message we have heard so often speak with new power. Come now and work within us that we in turn may work for you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 1 Samuel chapter 3 The boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. In those days the word of the Lord was rare. There were not many visions. One night, Eli, whose eyes were becoming so weak that he could barely see, was lying down in his usual place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the house of the Lord where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel. Samuel answered, Here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. But Eli said, I did not call. Go back and lie down. So he went and lay down. Again the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. My son, Eli said, I did not call. Go back and lie down. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. The word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. A third time the Lord called, Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down, and if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord came and stood there, calling as at the other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. And the Lord said to Samuel, See, I am about to do something in Israel that will make the ears of everyone who hears about it tingle. At that time, I will carry out against Eli everything I spoke against his family from beginning to end. For I told him that I would judge his family forever because of the sin he knew about. His sons uttered blasphemies against God, and he failed to restrain them. Therefore I swore to the house of Eli, the guilt of Eli's house will never be atoned for by sacrifice or offering.
Psalm 131 My heart is not proud, Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have calmed and quieted myself. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Loving God, we thank you that you are a God on which we can depend, a God in whom we can put our trust. What you promise is done, what you purpose is fulfilled. We remember your promise to Abraham that through his offspring all the world would be blessed. To Moses that you would lead the Israelites out of Egypt. To Isaiah that you would deliver your people from exile. To your prophets that the Messiah would come. To the apostles that he would rise again on the third day. We thank you that you fulfilled all of these promises, just as you said you would. Your son, born from the line of Abraham, your chosen nation set free from slavery, your people returning joyfully to Jerusalem, your promised deliverer born in Bethlehem, your power seen in the resurrection of Christ. We thank you for what that means for us today, that we can live each moment with confidence, whatever our circumstances may be, whatever times of testing may befall us, knowing that, although all else may fail, you will not. Although heaven and earth may pass away, your words will endure forever. So we look forward to that day when your purpose is fulfilled and you are all in all. Until then, we trust in you, secure in your love, confident in your eternal purpose, assured that your will shall be done. Receive our thanks in the name of Christ. Amen. Cause when we see you, we find strength.